If you've been using Airtable with lots of large numbers or working in any kind of financial reporting, I think you're going to find that this latest update from Airtable is a much needed improvement. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, an Airtable implementation partner. So Airtable's made some updates to the way that we can format numbers and currencies that we have inside of Airtable. I'm looking at a CRM, and so I'm gonna use a currency field here where we're talking about the estimated value for our opportunities, but this is going to work across numbers. It's gonna work on durations and percentages as well. And so we'll talk about some of those limitations, but to get started, we're going to edit this estimated value field. And the reason that we want to do this is because if we're dealing with numbers that are rather large, if I'm trying to look, is this 25,000? Is that 250,000? It can be difficult without having the comma separator there to see what number it is that we're working with. So let's go ahead and edit our field here. So we can scroll down and the first thing we notice is that we can choose our thousands and decimal separators. So we could specify this to say, let's use comma period, which is common in the United States, or we could actually say, use the local settings of that user. So it can localize it depending on where we're located. So in my case, it's going to already use that comma period format, but if you're in Germany, that format's going to look different so by default, I'm gonna choose local most of the time here. And we can set whether we want to show that thousand separator. So I think this is helpful most of the time. I'm gonna to toggle that on and notice that down here, we've got a nice little preview. So rather than having to exit this and then see, hey, does this look the way we want it to? We can now preview it directly within the editing screen here. So let's keep that on. And the other thing that we have is the ability to abbreviate these large numbers. So if we're talking about 250,000, you know, we're talking about opportunity values that range between $0 and a million dollars. I think it makes sense that we're gonna use that thousand separator or K, so it'll say 34K. If I save this, then we can see our values have been updated and this is a much better experience when we're talking about our overall revenue. Now let's say that that estimated value is our ARR or our annual recurring revenue and we wanna divide that by 12. So we wanna compute that. Well, by creating a formula here for MRR, we're able to take estimated value divided by 12, which gives us this new number, our monthly revenue that we have. And then we can go over to our formatting and choose our same presets that we have here so that when we save this, we get the same formatting, even though it's a formula. Airtable documents that the thousands and decimal separator is available for number, currency, percent, and duration, as well as those computed ones that we talked about but the large number abbreviations are just for the number and currency. They don't include the percent and duration, and they also include those computed fields. If you have any questions on getting up and running with Airtable, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com, where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.